he would make pervy comments and people would be like, oh my God, madam, why are you calling him a fat fuck? And it's like, he's talking about me sucking his dick. He's talking about sucking my, my penis. Leave my dick the fuck alone. You will never get near my genitalia, ever. This is possibly one of, if not the most important videos I've ever made. I need to make this intro quick because it's 110 degrees outside and my phone is overheating. But guys, please watch this. Please watch all of it. I'm gonna get raw, I'm gonna get honest and I'm begging you, please listen to my side of the story because it needs to be heard, because I've been tormented, I have been defamed, and I have been lied about and taken advantage of for years. Please just listen. I know I've made mistakes. I can own up to that. I do own up to it in the video. Please watch. I love you and I, I'm so sorry that I have to waste a Sunday fucking video talking about this stupidity. I love you. What is going on you guys? Not gonna have an explosively wet pussy at the beginning of this video because this is a video that I have needed to make for years. One that I have struggled making because 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 yes, I'm a pick me and I have brain cancer, I don't ever know what's going on. <laughs> I don't I don't mean to be ridiculous guys, but this this video, this is one I'm exposing it all and I am setting the record straight straight. I can't even say the words. I am setting the record straight. And I'm, show I'm showing my proof, and I'm gonna have a conversation with someone that has directly, personally, and firsthand seen the proof. And I will have that conversation with her after I... What I filmed already is too long, I can't have a whole conversation with her. I will have that coming at some point because I need to be able to heal. If you're watching this video, please make it all the way through. I know it's a long one, but guys, for years, you have no idea what I went through. And I'm sorry that I allowed it to happen for so long. I, after I say some things, I wrote something. I have brain cancer. I've got a really bad memory. I had to write this down because I needed to get my point across. Because guys, for years, for so many years, I have been dealing with someone who took advantage of my bad memory, who took advantage of my melted mind, who took advantage of my disability, who took advantage of the fact that I don't ever know what's happening, who took advantage of the fact that I am a forgetful melted minded mentally disabled dumbass i struggle so hard every day functioning i had to write something down and i, and I wrote it out and it, it, there, there are some parts that it's like why did i write it like that it's i wanted to be i wanted to be your normal funny beefy bitch so i wrote this as if i was speaking ha! and we'll, we'll see how it goes and guys i'm sorry that i had to read it from a script i just when i had the conversation with my friend who saw all of this happen firsthand who who, who saw proof of the Canadian sexual terrorist literally connecting to my Wi-Fi router from Canada after he told her that he sold the phone that he connected to my Wi-Fi router with, after he told her that he sold the phone. I'm gonna have a conversation with her, we're gonna go over everything, and this is gonna be really a video that I have needed to make for so long, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rant for as long as I can, but I, but I, I need to get this out because my life has been devastated. And I am struggling to continue pushing forward. I'm trying really hard. I got a new a new period of my life coming, a new chapter. I'm gonna be in my first apartment on my own since I was 19, 19, 20. I don't even know, I don't know how old I was. <laughs> I can't even remember. I think I was 19, I might have been 20 though. Um after I found out that my ex-boyfriend, who I loved more than anything in this world, I would have died. That 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 boy, I I'll blur out his face because we haven't spoken in years and yikes, I don't, he wants to he wants to kill me after I said the things I said in my why we broke up video. Ha! <laughs> Which I will also have linked down below in case anybody wants some back story. But um my life's been really hard and after I moved back to Ohio the first time, I've moved back three times. Is it three? Is it three or is it two? I think it's three. Guys. I don't remember. I think it's it might be only be two. I moved to Vegas three times and moved back twice. Okay. Let's hope it's not a third time. If I move back three times, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm going to read you what I wrote. Um, and, and please just try to listen. I know that it's just me reading something. I, I, guys, I'm so disabled. I'm not saying that to seek pity. I know everybody calls me a pick me and says, wow, you're such a self-centered, egotistical maniac. I am disabled. I've had seven brain surgeries. I've done six weeks of chemotherapy that almost killed me and murdered me because it dropped my blood platelets so low that they said if I, they said if I had gingivitis, I would have bled to death. Radiation has horrifically scarred my life. And I even uploaded a video showing my radiation footage for the first time being as vulnerable as I could possibly get. And guys, that video... It flopped, and it flopped because of what this person has done and the lies this person has spread about me. 
over so many years and the damage he did to all of my supporters. Anytime anyone would donate or, or would support me or, or, or show any support, he would message them. He'd slide in their DMs and say, stop doing that. He's just going to spend it on vinyl records. And guys, yes, I have a vinyl record addiction. Yes, it is the only thing that's kept me alive since I was a little boy. Yes, it is mental illness. But also, but also, I bought this on Timu for like $2. Record room. It's not hoarding if it's vinyl. <laughs> guys, it's crazy. But also, when I saw this, I said, my ex-boyfriend Clinton, who I do love, who also said this person is so unhinged and deranged and I needed him out of my life, like after a week, of knowing and seeing the relationship I have with this person, my ex-clinton said, please stop talking to him. And they don't even talk anymore, even though even though this Canadian creep came and visited my ex-boyfriend after I said I don't want to be friends with Canadian sexual terrorists. He he wiggled his way into my ex-boyfriend's house after we broke up and tried to bribe him by buying him things for his new his new house. It makes me so sick, everything that has happened. I'm gonna go over it all. This will probably be a very long video, especially after I read the monologue that that, that I wrote. But guys Perfect example of why I needed to read a script. Guys, what I was trying to say is this thing that I bought on Timu last year says it's not hoarding if it's vinyl. It just shows that collecting vinyl records, it absolutely is a ridiculous thing. I know that it's mental illness. I know that I, I, I use it as a way to cure my, my depression, anxiety, and all that shit. I know it's, I know it's crazy. But, but guys, if that's not a perfect example of why I needed to write down my thoughts, I just completely changed topics. I had to write down what I wanted to say, and I did my best to read it, and I, I, I'm sure I skipped over a few things, but I did my best. This video is very important to me. I wish I never had to make this video. I wish my life was in a better position than it is in currently, but because of this person, my life is in the shitter, and I should have listened to everyone telling me that there was something wrong with the situation, but I didn't simply, simply because he helped me put my cat to sleep. And it's so wrong, and it's so wrong, especially because that was shoved in my face anytime we would have a fight. It, like, I, I, just watch the video, guys. I'm gonna go over everything, but it's a messed up situation, and I have a lot of regrets. I've had a very hard life. I I, I do spend a crazy amount of money on, on bottom records. It is mental illness. I wish I could explain it to you. It is the only thing that has stopped me from Going to bed early. I can't say the words out loud, but, but if you know what that means, I think you understand. It has been the only thing that has kept me breathing. It's crazy. I ask myself sometimes, why is that? I don't know. I don't know. I love music. Music helped me through the hardest time in my life. The album Ultra Violence by Lana Del Rey. It's my favorite thing in this world, and it saved me. It saved me as a person. I was in a really abusive relationship. I, w I was in a relationship with someone who literally set me up to get sexually assaulted and exchanged me for drugs. And I... I'm not very good at being vulnerable. I, I I have a mom that's not very good at even hugging and, and, and showing any love. So I, I have a hard time crying. Of course, I don't want to cry because I don't want you to feel bad for me. I just want to set the record straight and share my side of the story because, guys, it's been a hard life. And the things I have endured over the past few years because I've been so melted-minded because I don't know what's happening because I am so, so messy. I'm a messy madam. It's the honest truth. That's why I made that logo because it's true. I'm a mess. And because of that, I didn't even see all these things happening until until recently. And it's been like almost going on a year that I've had this person out of my life and I'm still being tormented by this fuck. So here's, a, here's what I wrote. I'm going to read it to you. I was taken advantage of. Not only was I used to get my deranged stalker closer to other young gay men, but with my horrible memory from having my brain mutilated through seven brain surgeries and mind and my mind melted through six weeks of daily radiation, that caused me to be disabled and not function and allowed the sicko to take advantage of me. And the dozens, and I mean dozens of people that I loved and cared for so much, so much for, and the dozens of people that I loved cared and I cared so much for and were part of my online family were slowly turned against me for years. And after I put my last video referencing the Canadian sexual terrorist and his legal threat, which he threatened to sue me, and nothing happened. You know why? Because I have evidence and proof of everything. Holy fuck. Which, by the way, went nowhere because I l quite literally have proof of this sexual predator connecting to my Wi-Fi router from Canada. And I will talk to you. I will talk to you. I will, t you, I will show me... And I... And I will show me talking to someone who I literally showed had he, that he connected to my Wi-Fi router with the phone that he told her he sold. Among so many other pictures and evidence, I just...
I need the opportunity to share my honest side of the story. And I have and I have struggled really hard getting to the point that I am at, but it is absolutely no secret. I have flopped. And I don't mean a belly flop into a 10-foot pool worn by the summer sun. I mean I have quite literally and generally flopped. I am not conceited. I am not full of myself. But I have absolutely no issue saying that after 25 years of self-hatred, I have become a person that I not only admire. Yes, I am a pick-me. I am a full-of-themselves scumbag. Whatever you idiots want to say. Because I do get comments calling myself full of myself. Because I have become a person that I don't think is disgusting. I used to hate myself when I was a little little kid and a teenager and all these other things i have become a person that i am happy with i do my best to show the world that that no matter how hard life gets you can still push through and guys even with having cancer even with having stalkers harass me and turn all the people that i care about against me even with all that i still smile every day and i get up and i work my minimum wage job i just worked 11 and a half hours on my minimum wage job today almost 12 hours at my minimum wage job. I made more money at my job when I was 15, I'm at a job when I was 15 years old. And I worked 11 hours today because I have no choice because I had to come up with $1,300 by the 31st. I have no money in my bank account. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna give a false narrative. I'm gonna show you the 100% truth. I have $700 in my bank account right now after working like 40 hours in one week, which is a lot for your disabled girl. Let's be honest, that's a lot for your beefy bitch. And also, I had to take out so many loans. My bank doesn't do personal loans, so I couldn't take it from my bank. So I had to download, like, Dave and all those other shitty apps or whatever. And right now, I have $700, $759. And right now, I have $759.15. Ignore the, the $4,896 balance, because that's a credit card balance. Still, that I'm still paying off for my move back to Vegas, where I, where I am now. Things are hard. And guys... Things were never hard until this person came into my life and started molesting the minds of everyone around me. And I didn't realize that. I thought it was because I moved back to Ohio. I thought, I thought, I thought it was an Ohio curse. It was not. It was this sick, sick person. And I can't believe it took me as long as it did to realize that. And, and, and like I said, you can call me, pick me, or whatever you want. I have had an incredibly difficult, difficult life. Like I have said millions of times, I will never stop saying it, my brain cancer diagnosis ruined my life. And allowing this predator to get as close to me as he did, that has also ruined my life. I was harsh, I was cruel, I was vicious, I was mean. But as I said in last week's video, I have dealt with some pretty extreme SA. Sexual assault. I'll, I'll just say it, I don't even care about ads in this video. I've dealt with some pretty ridiculous sexual assault. And I will never be able to deal with someone directly ignoring my hints of disgust and my repeated no's. And signs of I am disgusted. Stop making comments about my genitalia. I am a pick me. I am a funny person. And I, I am also a kind, considerate, and caring person that loves to make people laugh. If this sounds like I'm reading a script, guys, I won't lie. I'm writing a brief outline. It's not a brief outline. I wrote word for word what I was going to say. Ha! <laughs> of what mommy needed to say. Because that is how my mental, my melted brain has began to function after my brain cancer treatment. I mean, just the other day, guys, I walked 40 minutes to my minimum wage job, 12 hours early. And guys, that's real. I showed up at 8 p.m. I started at like 7.45 because I get there a little early because mommy needs to clock in and get... I try to clock in early every day. <laughs> if I can get a little extra time, trust me, I do. I showed up there at 7.45 p.m. because the sun was setting and I thought it was actually... I actually thought it was 7.45 in the morning. That is how melted my mind is. I have had to exhaust myself so much because of what this monster has done to me, my character, and my image. The person I am, online, and has caused so many people to think negatively of me. I have lost all of my friends, and guys, realistically, I don't have many. I don't, I, especially IRL, I, I, I don't drive, I, I, don't, I don't really have many friends. And so many people believe the things that uh, that he would say to them because I would be mean. I would be mean, and I would I, I would attack him and, and 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 I would say fat phobic things. And guys, you know what? Sure, can I admit that? Absolutely. Do I admit that proudly? No. I I wish I never did because that's what that's what allowed him to actually 
create the 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 surge against me uh, people against me because like oh my god look how mean madam is to you there's a reason i had to stop telling i had to tell this person we cannot play games anymore because everyone thinks i'm an asshole and i tell you to go fuck yourself when you make comments about my genitalia because because th that's how it would come off people would he would make pervy comments and people would be like oh my god madam why are you calling him a fat fuck and it's like he's talking about me sucking his dick He's talking about sucking my my penis. Leave my dick the fuck alone. You will never get near my genitalia. Ever. And and, and yeah, guys, I showed up to my job 12 hours early. I, I, I might have a video, maybe I'll include it, of that happening. I don't know if I can even find it. I'm a mess. <laughs> what time was I supposed to be here? You, did you scare uh, me? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Um, yeah. Guys, I was supposed to be at this job at 8 in the morning. Do you know what time it is? 8 30 p.m i did not because i didn't know oh my god i'm such a nightmare that is the most embarrassing thing i've ever done i did not realize oh like guys if that's not proof that i am just a disabled mentally deficient dumbass i don't know what would be i don't know what could be proof oh i thought i went to bed because I, I had been without sleep for so long i thought i had got i thought a bitch i went to bed and it was fucking like six in the morning when I woke up because it looked like it outside. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. That is actually fucked. I literally just clocked in at work for like 10 minutes. What? What a fucking nightmare. I would never intentionally, I would never intentionally try to look like a drug addict, but I think unfortunately right now because of what just happened, I think everyone probably thinks I'm a meth head. I just walked to work. It's currently eight, like 23 in the, at night. Walked to work. I thought I was late for work. I had alarms going off telling me to wake up. And I was like, oh fuck, I'm late. The weirdest part is I had an alarm set for 8 a.m. in the morning. And I was like, I work at 8. Why would I have an alarm set for 8? And you know why? Because it's fucking 8 p.m. Oh my god. Because guys, it's 8 p.m. I walked to work thinking that I worked and that I was late for work at 8 p.m. Oh my god, guys, if that doesn't show how disabled I am, I am such a mess. I don't function. I'm so scared to live on my own here in a month. Oh my god, it's actually so scary. I am horrified for my future and for my life. What the fuck? Oh my god, I don't wanna, I'm not like filming this to be. Like, give me sympathy. Somebody called me a pick me and a fucking irritates the shit out of me. I'm not a pick me. I'm a train wreck. I'm a fucking train wreck. I'm not a pick me. I'm a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. I walked like 40 minutes to work. Girl, thinking that I worked. Girl, I, I, I don't work. I don't work till 8 in the morning. I don't work till 12 hours from now. What the fuck? And I'm gonna have to do this walk 12 hours again from now. Oh my god, I want to kill myself. I don't really, I don't really, I want to live a happy life. Oh my god, I guess all I want to do is have a happy life. I like partially noticed it was getting more, like more dark as I was walking and I was like, how weird is that? But my alarm went off at 8, so I was like, maybe I just set the alarm just to make sure, I don't know, I don't know why I would set the alarm for 8 at 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. thinking it was, I don't know. I'm so embarrassed, guys. I'm filming this to share with you what it's like to be a mentally deficient Dick pig. This will probably go in my my cancer video for Sunday because, wow, how embarrassing. <laughs> but I really did. I showed up 12 hours too early to my job. I, I don't function, guys. I have a very hard time functioning. I walk up and down a street to get to my job, and I got lost on my own my first days, two and a half hours away. Guys, girly has a GPS. How the fuck would I get lost two and a half hours away? I don't know. It's like my first, first or second day. I don't know what happened, but I, I, I am a, dis a disabled person and I'm trying really hard to fix the trauma and the torment that has happened because of this person. Because yes, this person did, did help me out a lot. Absolutely. But you know, you know what else this person would do? He would keep track of every dollar amount he would donate to me. And anytime we would have an argument, he would throw that number out there. He would throw it in my face and I would be like, you're right. And you also helped me cremate my cat, but which guys. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. God, Jesus, don't talk about your cat. And guys, that cat, she meant everything to me. She was my best friend since I was a baby. Since I was a little kid. This little girl was my whole life. 
I think about it every day. In the coming weeks, hopefully, if I can afford to move into my apartment, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. In fact, I probably am not going to be able to, and which really sucks, especially because I've already spent six hundred dollars on the place, getting getting myself situated for the for the application fee and also the holding fee for the apartment. Who knows if I'm going to be able to afford to get into it? But I'm going to be getting another cat soon. And uh, the Canadian sexual terrorist, he 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 helped me cremate my cat when and also put her to sleep. I couldn't afford to do it after I found out. My ex-boyfriend was cheating on me and that he was a sicko throughout our entire relationship was cheating on me. I had almost no money because I had to move back to Ohio and I and I was really struggling. And 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 this person helped me cremate my cat and that was held over my head and that was rubbed in my face and it was it was it was I it, I was I mean shoved in my face anytime we would have an argument. And it won every, every single time I would say you're right you you help me you help me put my little girl to rest and that that little girl had two tumors in her bladder i even had i even made a t-shirt I, I had a, a friend lastian i don't even know if i who lastian do not talk to me because of what said who knows who lastian do not talk to me because of what the canadian sexual terrorist said who knows who knows another person that vanished from my life and realistically it, it, it also might have been because i would complain on my live streams about how bad my view count was and guys I never understood it was because of this sick fuck I never understood because it was because of what he was saying behind me behind the scenes about me behind the scenes I never understood that and and you know why it's because I I held him to such a high degree he helped me put my little girl to rest and I I I, I honestly thought he was he was he was a gift a gift from God I, I I really did and oh my god this was not a gift from God this was the fucking antichrist I I know because I'm skinny. Yes, I and guess what? I'm skinny because I have an eating disorder. My memory is so bad I forget to eat but once a day, sometimes once every other day. I am really a messed up person and I have no friends and I do nothing except go to my minimum wage job. I don't even stream anymore. I I, I post three videos. I post Madonna Mondays. I post Kyle Evanog Saturdays. <laughs> and I try to get a vlog up on Sunday. That, that, that hopefully this goes up on Sunday if I can get this edited. But because I, I I'm a mess, and everything that has happened because of this fake friendship, it wasn't a fucking friendship, I don't know what this was, this is some sort of mental manipulation, some sort of mental molestation. <sighs> but yeah, I, I have an eating disorder, I forget to feed myself, there is a reason I am disabled, there is a reason that I am working a minimum wage job, and there is a reason I struggle wanting to wake up on a daily basis. And to just get it out there, I was taken advantage of by the sicko. People would slowly turn away from my streams, my videos, and they would stop donating to support my content and me as a person. And that would eventually turn to them vanishing into the mist. They'd leave my Discord server, which, <laughs> by the way, the invite link is down below if anyone does want to join. I know a lot of you have left. Hopefully, hopefully this can be sent to some people that have believed this person and his lies. I, I, I hope I can convince some of you to come back because, guys, I literally will discuss proof of this person connecting to my wi-fi router and so many other things when i talk with my friend later it's gonna be a long video i'm sure i'm gonna try to split this up as much as i can guys i need this to be viewable and if it's long and everybody and their grandma is gonna click off and say fuck this disabled brain cancer having a little bitch nobody gives a fuck about you and your obsessive stalker i get that so we're gonna split it up this is me outside in 110 degree heat nipples shaking and talking so let's see how this goes there's still so much more to be said and I have not even started, just wait. <sighs> Hi guys, this isn't gonna be a video of me begging for sympathy, I know. I know I'm not gonna get it, I know, I know, I know. I've struggled for a really long time online and I know that people really don't really care, which is understandable. I, I, I get that I am a, a very loud mouth bitch. Oh, look at the bus. I know, oh my God, big girl bus. I know that I am a loud mouth person I know that I've had a very hard life. I know that. I know that I've struggled through this world and I know because my personality is so in your face and I know because I am so vulgar and so aggressive with the way that I speak that I look like an asshole. I look like I'm full of myself. I look like I think I'm a top notch bitch. And guys, I do think I'm a top notch bitch, but I don't think I'm a top notch bitch because I think I'm better than people. I think I'm a top notch bitch because I know, I know at the end of the day, I care about this world, I care about people, 
and I care about the future. And I also know that after I received the legal threat from the Canadian sexual terrorist or Canadian sexual predator, I honestly don't even know which one is better or which one is more accurate because both are fucking true. Guys, I know that so much is going on. I also understand that people might understand the full context of things, but this, this person was a part of my life for years. And because I'm so disabled and because my mind is so melted and I don't function very well, because let's be honest, I don't function very well. I walk to work and I get lost two hours away because of it with the GPS, how is that possible? Thankfully, thankfully, you know, I've been at my job for like three months now. Thankfully, I, I now know the route to work and I can do it without getting lost. I go up and down a street, it's not that hard. But I'm disabled. What was done to me through seven brain surgeries, six weeks of chemotherapy, six weeks of mind melting radiation, which I uploaded this video talking about my radiation. And guys, it did terrible. And it did terrible because this person has painted me to be this like villainous character, this like horrible person. I'm not a horrible person. I'm not. And if that makes me, it makes me look horrible by saying it, oh well. I'm not gonna sit and pretend that I'm a bad person. When, you, when, when I'm being sexually harassed, non-stop, hit on, flirted with, sexually, like, approached, it's fucking disgusting, and I would react with anger because it would be, like, how many times do I have to tell you I don't like the comments you're saying? How many times do I have to tell you you're making me uncomfortable? And the whole world ignores that. The whole world ignores that because I said the words fatty, or I said fat fuck, I said you nasty fat fuck. And I get, I understand, I should not have done that. There's a reason that I had to stop playing games with this person on my Twitch live streams because it would make me look horrible, because it would make me look bad, because I would react with disgust every time he would make sexual nasty comments about me. And, and, and the, the best part about this is all the other young gay dudes that he's attached himself and latched onto, and there's guys, I'm not kidding you, like four or five people he's convinced to become streamers on Twitch so he can play games with them on, on, on Twitch. It's so fucking scary. He's convinced them to play games with them on Twitch. And I guarantee you he does not make sexual comments towards them. And you know why? It's because he fucking learned that it's disgusting. And at the end of the day, if I was able to at least have that impact, it makes me happy because it was so nasty. And I dealt with it for years. I dealt with it for years. If I was able to give this feculent chode, this feculent turkey fucker, if I was able to give him a conscious I'm happy to have done that because what I was put through was horrible. I recorded like a 30 minute video going over everything and talking about it. And I was originally gonna have a sit down video with a friend that watched all of it. I might still do that at some point because I need to get the people back that were chased away because of this awful person. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna cry. Guys, I, 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 I'm a cold bitch, I'm a cold bitch. My mom wouldn't even hug me growing up. Like it, it, it is hard, it is hard. And I'm going through so fucking much because of this person. And I, I, and I thought it was okay because he helped me cremate my cat. I thought it was acceptable because he helped me put my cat to sleep when she had two tumors in her bladder and she was pissing blood. And that cat was my whole life. That cat was my kid. She was my best friend. And let's be honest, I don't have a lot of friends. And I especially don't have a lot of friends after the years of lies that has been spread about me. And guys, I understand that I defamed myself and made myself look bad, appear horrible, because I would get angry when he would make sexual comments towards me. But I don't understand how the world wouldn't see, oh my God, he's being creepy. I'm uncomfortable, so I'm not gonna respond to, oh hell yeah, I really like the way you're talking to me. Also, this card definitely just pulled the fuck out in front of me. Jackasses, I hate people. <laughs> um, side note, I don't know what I just said. But, 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 but guys, I, I'm so disabled, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Haha, <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm not gonna edit this video too much. I want it just to be raw and honest and upfront. I was originally gonna talk with a friend after and I might still need to do that because I don't think anyone cares enough to listen. So many friends, so many of my supporters, so many people were chased away because of this person and they were chased away because he wanted to be seen as the only person that was there for me. And guys, it got to the point where he was like the only person that was there. It really did. I used, to I used to be able to make over $1,000 a night in donations. I, I really did. And this person spread God knows what lies about me to change people from doing that. And I have barely survived. I'm gonna stop filming and, and let, and let the, the raw, un I had to write, I had, realistically, I had to write a script of what I wanted to say because my mind is so melted. I don't function, I'm disabled, I forget things. 
I wrote something and it, it is just me like reading the script. I had commentary like along the way, but I don't know, babes. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm crushed. My heart hurts. I signed my I signed my new lease for my apartment and I need one thousand one hundred dollars. Thank God I got like a five hundred, six hundred dollar uh, like subtraction off my lease, thank God, because otherwise I would have been fucked. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have I have little to no friends left. I don't have any. I don't really have any supporters that would be able to help me the way they used to because he chased all of them off. And I might be homeless. And I might be homeless. And the worst part about me being homeless is I've already spent six hundred dollars to get this apartment. Guys, it's 110 degrees outside. I had to just like go in some random building, but. I don't even know where I am. I think I'm in a restaurant, actually. I probably should, I probably should go. But, oh my God, the door's locked. I absolutely just walked in some random restaurant. Oops. Guys, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is, and look at me, I'm in public. You see me as a person. You see me vlog. I'm not just sitting at a desk. The torment that I have received because of this person has been ruthless. It has been relentless. I'm not going to say their name. I'm not going to get a fucking defamation lawsuit, but they ruined my life. When I had to hold my ex-boyfriend as he sobbed hysterically because he was so uncomfortable by this person just being in the same house as us, which really happened. My ex-boyfriend was hysterically sobbing because he was so fucking uncomfortable. Clinty, I miss you and I'm so sorry that I allowed this, this terrorist to come into your life. And I know that you invited him back Oh, to Ohio to come visit you because he definitely manipulated your mind saying that he would buy you things to get to set you up for your new place after we broke up because we weren't able to be together because it was just not a good fit for me at the time and I regret it every day and I'll live with that regret and I'm so sorry and I'm sorry that I had to hold you while you cried because you were so uncomfortable because this person is a Canadian sexual terrorist. And I and realistically guys, it probably is the biggest reason that my relationship with my ex-boyfriend did not did not work and that it fell through and that uh, it didn't happen. And I'll live with that regret for the rest of my life because I, I do think, I do think in, 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 in another dimension, in some universe, me and Clinton were soulmates. I, I, I guarantee in another life right now, we're married and we're loving it. Cause I, I loved him more than anything in the world. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I, uh, it's really hard for me to talk about this without, without crying. Cause I'm not trying to be a cry baby bitch guys, but what this person has done to me for so many years, it's fucked. And the amount of people that have been turned against me because I look like a horrible person because I would show disgust, anger, and discomfort is crazy. I'm gonna try to edit this video without editing it too much because I know I do put a little too much on the screen sometimes. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best. And if you listen to my, my side of the story, please do, please share. I need this video to get so many views that he's like, well, fuck. Because, I, because guys, if this Canadian fuck, if this Canadian sexual terrorist does try to come for me and go for a lawsuit, guess who's coming to the courtroom with a camera? Guess who's vlogging the entire experience? Guess who's showing the fact that he connected to my Wi-Fi from Canada? Guess who's showing the fact that he tried to convince, that he, that he admitted to trying to catfish me to get me to send him news on multiple accounts? Guess who's going to show him trying to say that my ex-boyfriend Clinton should snap the other dude I was talking to after we broke up? Like, so so many fucking crazy things that, that I have proof of. I don't take screenshots every time he'd make comments about my dick because one, I don't want to be reminded that he's disgusting and perverted and gross. And then two, because I never thought it would come to this. When I called him a fatty and I said, I want, when I said, fuck you fatty, and I wanted the friendship to be over, I thought that would be it. I thought it would be over. Unfortunately, it, it wasn't. And it's still almost a year fucking later. Holy fuck. It's still not over. I've lost almost every friend that I've had because of this person. And did he help me out a lot? Sure. Did, did, did he save me when I was financially struggling? Of course. But you know why he needed to? Because anyone else that would support me in any way, if, especially if it was a, with bigger donations, he would message them and say, don't do that. He's just going to spend it on vinyl records. Look at the room. And guys, I have a lot of vinyl records. It's true. I know that it's an addiction. I know that it's mental illness. But you know what was never an issue before 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 the Canadian sexual terrorist came into my life, you know, it was never an issue. Me being able to buy vinyl records before he came into my life, it was never an issue. I could do it with ease. I could do it with ease because I had support from people that I loved and cared so much about. And so many of those people have gone and they're not in my life. And I don't, 
I don't know what happened to him, and he misconstrued and lied to him, and they and they believed it because he was seen as a caregiver, as someone that cared about me. He didn't care about me. I was a GPS coordinator to find him other young gay men, and the list is so long. I could list the names. I'm not going to because I don't want to give more. I don't want to give more gas on the fire for his defamation lawsuit. But holy shit, it's crazy. Here's the the clip I recorded. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna have the video of me talking with my friend probably in this one. I'll probably have it eventually, but not 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 this video. Um, and and guys, all I know is I I really hope that uh that someday soon I can get some of my friends back because it's been so fucked up. People that I loved 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 and cared about more than anything in this world vanished because they thought I was a horrible person. And guys, I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not again. I'm not conceited. I'm not a fucking pick me. I'm not a fucking narcissist. I know that I'm a good person because I know what it's like. I know what it's like to hate yourself. I hated myself so much growing up. I've had attempted suicide four times. I've been sexually assaulted. I have brain cancer. I've had a hard life. And it's not to list things to make people feel bad for me. I know nobody gives a fuck about me because I'm because I called someone a fatty that was making comments about my dick nonstop. I get that. But guys, my lips are so chapped because I've had such bad anxiety over the past weeks over everything, and I, I don't know what to do. Here's what I recorded. Please share it, please. And I, I, I need as much support as I can get because this is, this is ruined, ruined my brand, ruined my name, and it's ruined my image. I, and I don't know what else to do. I really don't. I love you. But I promise if you read the main chat in my Discord server, you will see hundreds and hundreds of messages where I would thank people every single night after hours of streaming on a daily basis. And unfortunately, I did have to stop streaming on Twitch because I was in a transitional period. I am in a transitional period. And I am in the process of moving. And again, no, I do not, under, I do not believe, or, or I, I honestly, part of me still believes, but I don't actually know if it's true, that the Canadian sexual terrorist, or CST, <laughs> had anything to do with my Twitch getting banned. But I'm gonna put on the screen a message sent to me by a friend that my friend, a friend, like I said, I had known this person since I was 12 years old. He sent me this message saying that the Canadian sexual terrorist sent this to him and he said it was horrifying. It was horrifying. He immediately unmodded the person after receiving this message and asked all of his other moderators if, if, if he should unmod them. And unanimously, they all said this person was obsessed with me and agreed to unmod him. <sighs> I don't want to be dramatic, but the response that this video receives will likely shape my future going forward. I've done my absolute best to stay positive and be the perky titted woman that I am. <laughs> but I don't know how to keep fucking going, babes. I have lost dozens and dozens of my closest friends over the years to sick fucking lies. And after I read this monologue that I wrote while sobbing, I, I was crying while writing, and I'm not crying now, because, because guys, I, I, I am a cold person, and it's just because I grew up with a really, really cold parent that was, was not even good at, at like, hugging her kids. I, I, I love my mom. She's, like, one of my only friends, but she, my mom is, is, is really cold, and she's been through a lot, but, 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 but she's the reason I, I, I'm not good at crying. Even if you look at all my brain cancer treatment, I'll put videos of my, look at all the, the vulnerable things I've shared online. Brain cancer, brain cancer, brain cancer. I have showed myself in the hospital with doctors in my brain. I, I literally have a pictures of my doctor in my brain. I have that on the screen. And I, I have been very vulnerable, but guys, I'm not very good at crying. The only thing that makes me cry is when I talk about my little girl. And I, it, it's why I'm not going to talk about her because I'm not trying to cry in this video. I don't want it to seem like I'm, I'm like intentionally trying to make people feel bad. I just want to be honest and I want to share my side of the story. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <sighs> I have shared everything that I could online about my struggle with living with cancer over the years. And I know this really is a rant and I'm sorry to set, I'm sorry, but I need to set the record straight. I am nothing but appreciative, but I am, but I am nothing but appreciative, motherfucker. But I need to set, motherfucking bitch. But I need to set the record straight. I am nothing but an appreciative, disabled, dumbass. Ha <laughs> ha. And I don't ever know what's happening. And when I would have, and, and when people, and, and when this person would have would have people turned against me and they would just vanish into the mist between the stress over my physical health and the nonstop pain and torment for my brain cancer, my headaches, all these other things that it causes. And 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 go ahead, call me a pick me because I know it's gonna happen. I really do not care. The never ending physical pain, that seven brain surgeries, six weeks of mind melting radiation and chemotherapy that almost killed me. I'm gonna cover the radiation and chemo one day. Those videos are coming soon. Hopefully people will watch them. <laughs> I, 
it's so sad. Even this cancer video I uploaded where I, where I got really vulnerable, I talked about my radiation and the fact that radiation can cause me possibly to develop more cancer in the future. Even though I got as vulnerable as I thought I've ever been online, it didn't do well. It didn't do well because of this sick fuck because he's turned everyone who cared against me. I get lost in what's happening. I know that anyone who would support me through donations or receive messages from the sycophant telling them to stop doing so because in the end, he would have to bail me out. And guys, yes, this closet case maggot did help me out in many horrible situations. I had never noticed our donations lessening over the years on my daily streams. And in fact, I honestly thought it was a COVID caused response. And I didn't ever complain about donations, but but I, but I'll be realistic. I desperately did complain about viewers because because even though I I had survived off streams and streaming 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 before this Canadian sexual terrorist came into my life, streaming was how I paid my bills. It was the only thing I ever did. And because he can because he said everything he said and he turned so many people against me, they would stop donating. And I lost so much of my support over the years. And, I, and, I, and I, I thought it was a COVID response. I didn't think it was because of this sick fuck. Because this sick fuck, he would still donate. The, the, the craziest part to me is he would tell people not to donate because he said he would have to bail me out or whatever the fuck his psycho would say. But then he would proceed to continue to donate to be seen as the only person there to support me. And it's fucking crazy that no one made that connection. And although I didn't ever complain about donations, I absolutely would desperately voice pleas for where the fuck people had gone that used to watch my streams. And do you know what took me years to realize? It was this disturbed psycho messaging all of my friends, supporters, and viewers, shit-talking me, convincing people that I was a bad person. And you know what? It chased everyone away. And it chased everyone away because I would be mean to him in response to him making sexual comments to me, in response to him making sexual advancements verbally, making comments about my dick, talking about my big dick. I got a big dick, girl, sure. Don't talk about it, you nasty fuck. And I would tell him that every day. I would call him a fat fuck. Sure, I'm a horrible person, guys. I, I, I didn't know what else to do with you. It would be the only way to get him to stop. And I'm sorry that I did that. Especially because it, 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 it genuinely made, made me look like a horrible person. And it made so many people... It made so many people believe his lies. If you look at my YouTube videos, you'll see thousands of hours of live streams. And I had to stop doing those live streams. I don't, I don't stream on Twitch anymore. I used to stream every day. I've been doing that since I was 17 years old. It was my J-O-B. And they had to stop between my audience being decimated because I was too unconscious and disabled to even realize that it was a Canadian CANCER that was spreading its harm to so many people that I genuinely loved. And to be honest, I, I people that I cared so much about. There's people that just poofed. And to name a few, Caroline, Suzanne, those two ladies, wow. They were there for me for years. And, and, and honestly, I'll be honest, maybe this sick fuck didn't have anything to do with them. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe he didn't directly message them. And honestly, I will never know. They won't even respond back to my messages after they vanished. But Caroline had watched me since before I was 18 years old. I think. I'm not 100% sure of that. But it was, it was always 18, 17. And Suzanne, she was one of the kindest people that I've ever been blessed to know online. She bought my little girl a running water trough, which I hope I still have. I lost a lot of stuff and made many moves. I haven't been able to go through it. We'll find out in my moving vlog if I still have it. Hopefully I still do. Because Suzanne bought that little girl. My little baby. She, she, she bought her a water trough. A running water trough. And um, in, in her last her last day is when she was really sick. And she was you know, peeing blood. Because she had tumors in her bladder. She loved that. She loved that little water trough. And Suzanne, if you ever see this. Thank you very much for that. I miss you. I don't know what caused you to vanish. I... I it actually got to the point, because this happened like during COVID, guys, and during the trauma of COVID, during the trauma of me moving, during the trauma of everything happening, I was like, maybe, maybe they, like, not to be sick, but I was like, maybe they passed away. Maybe they got sick and passed away. I, I, I don't, I don't want to be sick, but I, I didn't know. And I'm so disabled, I, did, I didn't fully think what could have happened, and I didn't want to point the blame at someone that I genuinely thought, that I genuinely thought was a friend. But guys, he wasn't. He wasn't a friend. In the coming weeks after I get moved into my first apartment, my first apartment on my own since I was 19. <laughs> and I don't want to be, I don't want to rant, but I am heartbroken. I am so scared for my life, for my future, and for what I am going to do. And I know me saying this means nothing, especially if you have been inflicted by the Canadian sexual terrorist. 
But you know what? If you've been inflicted, can I just say this? There's a reason when he demanded that I take a video down, which guys is still visible. It's still visible. It's not visible in Canada because I said his name foolishly. He was able to get the video blocked in Canada. And if you can't watch it in Canada, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. But I never got a lawsuit. And you know why? Because guys, who would vlog that? Who would vlog that entire lawsuit? Me. And you know, you know who would come out on top? Me, because I have proof of him connecting to my fucking Wi-Fi router. I have proof of him making sexual advancements to me. I, I, I didn't screenshot every message he would make about my dick. You know why? Because it would disgust me. It would horrify me. And I never thought I would have to make a video talking about someone that I consider to be a friend. But you know what? I have to. I have to because everyone in my life that I loved and cared about, he convinced that I was a horrible person. And guys, I'm not a horrible person. I'm not conceited. I don't think I'm the nicest person on the block. But I do. I am so appreciative of people that helped me exist especially because i have a hard i have had a hard life i have had a very hard life the life i'm living is it's it's very hard right now and no i may not have taken screenshots every single time the sick fuck would make sexual harassing comments or messages and notions to me mostly because i was never intending on speaking about them but also because i never wanted to remind myself of the torment i had received for so many years i will be talking tomorrow to someone that has watched my stream since she was 11 years old and i will cover the start of my Canadian cancer's growth. I will cover the terrorism and I will do my best. Brain cancer memory reminder ha! to show my truth. I'm so scared for my life, but I have needed to make this video for years. And I am sorry that the memory of my sweet little girl passing allowed me to give a pass to someone who took advantage of me and every person and every connection and friendship that I had. If you've made it this far in the video and have listened to my insane ramblings, I hope that you will give the rest of the video a watch, especially when I'm talking with my friend who, who directly spoke to this person, who directly received message about this person trying to catfish me and sending him dick pics and nudes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover it all, guys. <sighs> because the person I'm going to talk to desperately tried to get me to remove this tumor from my life. From the moment that the comments about my big dick would start, coming from his feculent foul mouth and that's gonna play after this guys i'm getting choked up i'm not gonna cry i'm sorry i'm sorry that this is a mess of a video i am i'm really having a hard time i i had to literally write down what what, what i wanted to say because my memory is so bad i don't know how else to put my words into into like a format that would be able to be understood but guys i've had a really hard time with this person and he has tormented my life so badly and I was mean, and I was out of pocket, and, and, and I said a lot of cruel things. I have lost almost every meaningful friendship that I have made online because of this person. I have almost no one left. All I have ever wanted to do was be able to share my experience online with having brain cancer. Share my experience of my life with being the person that I am. And it took me 25 years to love the person that I am. And you know what I do? I love the person that I am now and there's not many there's not many people left that are watching. I know. I know there's not there's not anyone left that really gives a fuck, but guys, I'm trying so hard. I have a lot of a lot of hard things coming. I have to get one thousand three hundred dollars by the twenty ninth. I think this goes up on like the twenty seventh or something, and hopefully I'll 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 have a decent amount of that money, I hope. I literally worked 11 hours at my job today. I worked 18 hours on two days, nine, two nine-hour shifts on the other day at my minimum wage job. My life's really hard right now. I'm disabled. I have brain cancer. Call me a pick-me, whatever. But I need to set the record straight. Hopefully the conversation I have with my friend will do that. Maybe this will play before or after that, but... This is something I've needed to say for years, and I'm sorry that it took me so long to realize because... Because I allowed this sick fuck helping me to put my cat to sleep and cremate her. I allowed that to give it, to give him a pass for everything he put me through. And I'm sorry. Because I've lost so many supporters and so many friendships. and It's just not right. I love you. I'm sorry. Whatever the fuck plays after this. I hope it's... <laughs> I, 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 hope, I hope I've been able to edit this into something that is able to show everything because, guys, I'm stressed. I move for the first time on my own since I was 19 years old out of my ex-boyfriend's apartment on the 31st. I'm not going to have any of the money that I need. 
and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So hopefully I can edit this into something that I need that I need it to be. And hopefully I show every side of the story. I love you. <laughs>